Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today is going to be another envelope stuffing video, cash stuffing video. Um, <clears throat> so I decided that this year we were going to participate in the um, 100 envelope challenge, but of course 100 envelopes just was not going to be feasible for us. And, you know, part of saving money is also just knowing your own habits and being aware of what you are able to do and not able to do. So, um, decided to go with a payday kind of a challenge. And so kind of figure out how many paydays there were in the year and created an envelope for each of those days. So... So far in Feb in January, we're in January still, I have done the 31st, and then today we are actually going to do the 7th and the 14th because, um, sorry if you can hear that, it's super windy here. Um, Oklahoma is like a giant wind tunnel, actually. It's like living in a wind tunnel. Let's see if this is, okay. So, um, that being said, I'm actually doing, like I said, the cash stuffing for the 7th and the 14th because I forgot to get money out of the bank. <laughs> and we're already getting ready to roll up on the payday for the 21st. So I'm a couple of paychecks behind. But um, that being said, we're just going to go ahead and just start with what we can do. So, um, of course, the 31st was because that was like... I mean, it's so close to the first anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and include that. And so I have my money for the seventh. You can tell it lived in my husband's wallet for a little bit. So there's that. Anybody else like hate when bills are in like paper or wrinkled because it makes me crazy. Anywho, so there's that. And it was funny because. Um, I don't typically carry cash, and so it just never occurs to me to get cash. And so I just had to ask him, because he always has cash on him, so I like, can I have the money for the envelopes? And so, of course, he said yes. But, um, anywho, as I focus on this now, because that's just kind of how I am. So, and then we should have 14 for that day. Alright, so five. I don't know why these are so rig right now. Five. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So kind of funny story. Um, I asked my husband for the $21 because I knew that I had missed getting these stuffed. And so I was like, I need $21. So he like literally handed me $21. And I was like, oh, I need it broken down because it has to go into two different envelopes. <laughs> so that became quite the chore. But anyhow, so we're gonna go ahead and just put this one in here. And I fold mine in thirds because I feel that it fits into the envelope better. It's less bulky. And as you know, I had to put my little stickers on there to keep these sealed up. Just gently tug in. Okay, so there's the seventh. Again, the fun thing about this envelope challenge though is honestly you can do it however you want. I mean you can do the 100 days if it works for you. Um, if it doesn't then you can cater it to work however you need it to work. Basically the whole point is just to save money and I've always been kind of terrible at that so um, I feel like at this point, you know, anything that I can do to kind of help us get some money saved is a good thing. So there's that. And then I will have the 21st coming up right away before you know it. And I really do like this little box. I'm hoping it'll last the whole year. I don't know. We'll see how it goes because 
my envelopes are kind of little. And if it gets too, like, I don't know, we'll have to see. We might have to finagle things a little bit more. But we shall see how it goes. And in any case, but yeah, so like I was saying, you can cater it to however you need it to be to save money for yourself because we all have different needs, different expectations, and different abilities to do so. But the end goal is just to make sure that you save some money over the course of the year, which will be amazing because I'm terrible at saving money. But I feel like this is something that's doable and it's in small little chunks. And yeah, I just feel like it's something that we can do. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys, um, you know, are you guys doing the challenge as well? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, and as always, remember to collect what you love, love what you collect, and have a wonderful and safe, blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.